Hey everybody, this is Know Your Mac on YouTube.com, and today I have sort of like an app review slash a uh, technique that you could really use to improve things on your Mac. Now, a lot of Mac users like creating slideshows with their images. It's kind of ridiculous how many times I see a Mac user creating a slideshow, whether it's through iPhoto or through iMovie or iDVD, they're always creating a slideshow somehow. So, I I quite like slideshows myself, but the built-in Mac ways are great because there's a lot of customizable options. But if I were to do it through iDVD, for example, it'll still work, but since iDVD was not originally completely meant for slideshows, it's not going to be completely like what I wanted. I might want something a little more advanced. Now, of course, I don't want to go into a program like After Effects and start messing around with all the settings. So, there's a program called Pulp Motion. And right here, I have Pulp Motion Advanced. One of my favorite applications of all time. Um, this is Shareware, I believe. I know it is not free. But it's great if you're doing a presentation. So let me just open this up. And once this opens, you see this simple window. And you could choose not to show it again, whatever. And you can open one or create a new one. So I'm just going to hit new. And now we have a bunch of different layouts. Now these are really professionally designed. Um, they're so unique and they're such high quality. It's really amazing. So I'm just gonna type. I'm just gonna click on Bespoke Museum, and then I have even more to choose from. So I'll choose Gold Museum. Just hit Create. And this can be a little confusing. So you need to try to stay with me on this one. So first of all, we get a couple of options. We get on the side, we have our title and our story name, and that goes right here respectively. So under title, I'll just type in Know Your Mac. And then the composition story is basically like a subtitle. So I'll just type in a Mac OS X tutorial YouTuber. And there you go. So we have our nice little layout. And if I drag this button all the way to the beginning and hit the play button, you can see that it creates our big animation for us. Now what this does is it shows our little title right there and then goes into this scene right here where it will fade into the next pane. So right around here is going to be an image. We just have to drop it there. So let's click this little button right here and it's going to bring up our media manager and I just have a few images here so I'll drag a picture of the Brooklyn Bridge right into drop your media and we see something else so we have more options here if we expand everything and the name for this I'll type in Brooklyn Bridge and if we type in notes it will appear underneath it. So I'll type in in New York. I don't know. And the date, you could just choose the calendar icon, choose whatever you want. I'll choose December 30th. Don't know why. It's a random date. And you could set a rating. And then we have more titles and notes and everything. But you don't really have to mess around with any, anything else. Now, if this was comprised of a picture of many different people, it may help to show where each person was. So I could just click Add Zone, reposition the zone, and then you could see that it has a little title underneath it. So I could use that if I want to represent one area. But for now, it's alright. Now, if we close this and go back to the beginning again, you'll notice that it plays our animation, and then where it faded before, 
it now brings us to the picture. And there's our slideshow. So now if just say we don't like that little theme, we could select a new theme, bunch of themes. We could set settings like timings, text color, wall, floor, ceiling. There's so many different settings you could set here. It's really amazing. So I'm going to show you another theme that I like called Time Machine. And this is basically Mac related. You can see that it's, you just see a simple window and then it floats into Time Machine exactly like we see it when we start up Time Machine. Right there, you can see it's exactly like Time Machine looks, just with simple variations to avoid copyright infringement. So I'll go into my media browser again and just drag in this picture, close it up. I'll name this Target. There you go. And now if I go back to the beginning, see it goes to another frame where our target is. So there's really just a lot of different effects and that's what makes it so great because it's so, so simple. You just choose one, choose a variation, drop in a picture, and you're done. You have a nice, high quality animated slideshow that I basically did nothing. I mean, you saw that I, I hardly did anything. All I did was just make a few clicks, opened up a file, and dragged a picture in, and that's all you have to do. So a link for this amazing application, Pulp Motion Advanced, will be in the description if you're interested. And I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, and I hope you subscribe. Thanks.